The Sage Collection, also known as the Elizabeth Sage Historic Costume Collection, is a 28,000 piece collection of fashion and dress in the Eskenazi School of Art, Architecture, and Design. The collection's been in existence since 1937, but collecting for it has been going on for more than 100 years. And in the fall of 2017, it became the new home of Glenn Close's costume collection. The award-winning actor was impressed by the university's state-of-the-art facilities and its commitment to use her costumes in the classroom. In all different kinds of classrooms, from, you know, costume design, fashion design, uh, gender studies, history, textile design, you know, all kinds of ways that they could be used in the classroom. I think she really liked that. So the collection itself is quite large. There are more than 800 individual pieces, and we're also getting new pieces all the time. In the spring of 2021, a small subset was put on display. There are a few pieces that really stand out, I believe, in the Glenn Close collection that are on view at the Eskenazi Museum of Art. One of those pieces is the black leather coat from Fatal Attraction. It's really a very powerful piece with those really big shoulders, tight waist, and presents a very strong figure. And you contrast that black leather coat with a really very simple, kind of almost angelic white knit dress at the end of Fatal Attraction really highlights that character's emotional roller coaster throughout the film. Dangerous Liaisons is a wonderful um, film for costuming and is kind of, you know, like a touchstone for people who watch films for the costumes. And, you know, it's so different. The shapes are so different, and we're so thrilled to have the ones that we do. The python dress, I think, is really incredible from 101 Dalmatians because of the totality of the designer's vision and how that was realized. So it has this beautiful brown, black, and white snake print, and that motif is echoed through the jewelry. So she's got this incredible custom-designed um, snake earrings, snake necklace, and a combination snake ring and bracelet. It's not just one dress or something, it's just the head-to-toe vision that the designer had and how completely and wonderfully it was carried out by the makers who were tasked with bringing those drawings and those ideas to reality. Moving on to the sequel, there's a couple of costumes I'd like to highlight. The first uh, costumer group of costumes is the transformation suits, and I really think that it's a great example to represent the whole exhibition because it is about the transformation of a character through costume, and I think it's such a fun transition for people to see and, you know, how much thought was put into what just takes a couple of minutes on screen, and it's just a little glimpse into the, you know, the magic that's made. The flame dresses are really another spectacular um, feat of costuming. The dress itself is in three pieces. So there's a bodice, a close fitting skirt, and then this enormous overskirt. So it's just layers and layers and layers. And Glenn Close is always also referred to it as the firebird dress. This exhibition is a great opportunity for viewers to come and see some of these things up close that you know might be just on screen for a few seconds so you can see every sequin, every bead. It's a really unique opportunity to see those things that help create that magic and makes you realize how much of that is fostered by these incredible costumes. So much work and so much artistry goes into these pieces that I really feel like we're giving them their due.